can I share my faith effectively with others? Sharing your faith effectively involves both living out your beliefs authentically and being prepared to articulate your convictions with gentleness and respect. Build genuine relationships with others, demonstrating the love of Christ through your actions and attitudes. Be ready to share your personal testimony and the reasons for your hope in Christ, always speaking the truth in love and relying on the power of the Holy Spirit to convict hearts and draw people to Jesus. What is the significance of faith in the Bible? Faith is central to the Christian life, serving as the foundation of our relationship with God and the means by which we receive His salvation and grace. The Bible defines faith as confident trust in God's character, promises, and redemptive work through Jesus Christ. It is expressed through obedience, perseverance, and reliance on God's Word, enabling believers to overcome obstacles, endure trials, and live victoriously in Christ. How does the Bible define love? Love, as defined in the Bible, is selfless, sacrificial, and unconditional. It is exemplified by God's love for humanity, demonstrated through the sacrificial death of Jesus Christ on the cross. Biblical love involves both actions and attitudes that seek the welfare and best interests of others, regardless of their deservingness or reciprocation. It is patient, kind, forgiving, and seeks to build up and edify others, reflecting the character of God Himself. What does the Bible say about forgiveness? Forgiveness, according to the Bible, is both a command and a gift from God. Believers are called to forgive others as God has forgiven them, extending grace and mercy even to those who have wronged them. Forgiveness involves releasing feelings of resentment and bitterness, choosing to let go of past hurts, and reconciling relationships whenever possible. It is a demonstration of Christ-like love and a pathway to healing and reconciliation. How can we discern God's will according to the Bible? Discerning God's will involves seeking His guidance through prayer, reading, and studying His Word, seeking wise counsel from mature believers, and being open to the prompting of the Holy Spirit. It requires a surrendered heart, humility, and a willingness to submit to God's authority and direction in all areas of life. By aligning our desires and decisions with the principles and purposes revealed in Scripture, we can walk confidently in God's will and experience His blessings and guidance.